Okay. What we're going to do today is um, I'm going to show you how to build a bottom board, a screen bottom board for an eight, eight frame hive. And this is what it looks like when it's all together. Um, the pieces you're going to cut, you know, I got a, at the end of the video, I'll have a cut list. But uh, two of the pieces you're going to have to put uh, 3 8 rabbit, you know, 3 quarter inch wide um, and 3 8 deep. So when the pieces meet together, you know, they're going to fit really snug and it's going to help hold it together. And uh, that's about the only, you know, of course you have to cut all your pieces, but those are the only two pieces that need the rabbit joint. Okay, so I got everything pre cut. So it'll make it a lot faster. You don't really have to see how to cut everything. So uh, what I do first is after you have it all together, I take the uh, the landing board piece, which is uh, four and five eighths wide by twelve and a quarter long. Everything's made of three quarter inch pine, and then I have uh, two feet. I call them the feet for the landing board. Uh, they're an inch and a quarter wide by 12 and a quarter long, three quarter inch. So what I do is I just glue it up here, put glue on everything. Because once it's glued, it's going to stay. Once this sets, it's not going to go nowhere. Inch and a half steak uh, brad nails, which is plenty to hold together once it once it sets. So. Same thing on this other one. Be careful when you're shooting. You know you want to wear safety glasses and watch your fingers because if they hit a knot, that that brad nail is going to shoot out and go right in your thumb. Trust me, I've done it before. So, all right. So that's all glued up. It's ready to go. So that's what I call the. Uh, this is going to be end up being the landing board. So then you're going to take your, uh, let's see, I got these sizes wrote down. Your, uh, these are the bottom side rails. They're two inches wide by uh, 21 and three quarters long. And they're also three quarter inch white pine. And you, you can get that at anywhere, any Home Depot, Lowe's, any, any of those places, a lumber place. If you do a lot of them, you could buy it in bulk. All right, one side, you can do the same thing for the other side. That's that. All right, then we go to the back here. This has got the rabbit joint on it. And it's just gonna go right in here. So you're gonna glue everything up there. Okay. All right. 
Alright, and then the next one we're going to put on there is the screen for the bottom board. Alright, this is 8th inch. It's called number 8 hardware cloth. And 8 stands for 8th uh, inch. The holes in here are 8th inch. Alright, what I use, I just to hold it on here just so I can get everything set. I just use a uh, electric staple gun. It's basically, it's tacking it down, and then the other pieces go on top of that. So it's gonna that's gonna hold it down. So I just kind of line it up where I want it. Okay, there's that. So we just do the same thing, go around. You know, you got your back piece, so I usually put my back piece on next. I, li I line it up. Okay, just saying, I glue it just so it's gonna help it grab. Top rail back is uh, 3 quarter inch by 13 and 3 quarter with the rabbit joint on it. Sides on same way. Shoot this end in here like this. Both ways. Yeah, you got a staple shot shot out of here on the end. So if your hand's there, it's gonna hit it. So then you just break that off. Same thing on this side. Just repeat it. A lot of these rail pieces you can make out of scrap wood if you got left over from your hives. I'll do videos on building the pieces of the hive bodies and entrance reducers. All that can the entrance reducers can be made of scrap. And just I get a piece of flashing it comes in a roll um, I mean you'll never use all this I mean I guess if you have hundreds of highs which I'm hoping to have one day you know you'll go through it but so I just take 10 snips I draw my line on there it's roughly three quarter inches wide Pretty easy to cut. Just cut it and it's going to go right here on the end. Just over that to finish it off. Make it look nice. Make it smoother. You can do the same thing. I staple it in.
nice that looks. And just what you can do on these staples, if they shoot out like this, you can usually work them back and forth. Hopefully they got them. You can grab it with some dikes and work it back and forth. It'll break off. Or you can just pull it. Got it. These are all gonna, they all get painted. This one shot and bent. I'll just pull it. And there you have it. That's all you gotta do is paint it. It's all ready to go. So uh, next all here's the dimensions. So I learned how to do the YouTube thing and I can print it all up on there but right now I just got it on this board hopefully you can read it was basically telling you the size we went but you can pause pause the video and write it down and then uh, that'll help you get started and then we'll go from there and I'll just do other videos on uh, building the hive boxes and all the accessories, t telescop top, telescoping tops, inner covers, everything you need to get started. And you know, it'll save you money by building yourself. Versus, you know, if you buy a starter hive, it's going to cost you $500 plus probably for everything you need. So, my name's uh, Danny Gottman with Danny G's Honeybees. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Any questions, just send me a, a message on uh, YouTube. Thanks a lot. See you.